This scampering calf is named Edward. He and his mom, Victoria, are southern white rhinos, a distant relative of the northern white. Johnny Capira was the lead rhino keeper. They do have uh, behaviors that are quite like a puppy, and that tail just wags, and it makes us feel like he's just happy to be alive and happy to be here. A good girl, Wallace. No one is happier than Barbara Durant, the zoo's director of reproductive science. Edward is the very first baby rhino born in North America using artificial insemination and frozen sperm. This reproductive technology is well established in humans now. Why such a challenge? In rhinos. The techniques that we're developing are difficult because we don't understand the complexities of her reproductive cycle and her reproductive anatomy is very complicated. To decipher the rhino's reproductive system, keepers trained Victoria to walk into a chute and to stand for ultrasounds. That led to a successful artificial insemination. Assisted reproduction is the only way to save the northern whites. <laughs> it's a big step in the, the overall plan, which is to help the northern white rhino come back from the brink of extinction. The hope is southern whites will eventually become surrogate mothers for northern white embryos. Creating those embryos depends on futuristic science taking place in the safari park's frozen zoo, the largest gene bank in the world with samples from some 10,000 animals, including northern whites. Thus far, they've transformed rhino skin cells into stem cells. A stem cell is a cell that has the potential to become any other cell in the body. And the eventual goal is to redirect them all the way to sperm and eggs. They've succeeded in turning stem cells into beating cardiac muscle that makes up part of a heart. While creating sperm and eggs is likely years away, they have impregnated another southern white. Durant says the arrival of one more healthy baby will be a cause for celebration. Because doing something one time doesn't prove that you can do it. <laughs> we want to make this technique of artificial reproduction routine and reliable. The artificial insemination takes about 20 minutes, but the gestation takes some 16 to 18 months. This is a long-term commitment for Durant, and it's personal. The safari park cared for Nola, a northern white female, until her death in 2015. We feel a responsibility as a member of the species that caused their extinction. John Blackstone, Escondido, California.